Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll be showing you how to get Lumberjack Outfit fast. So first of all, here's a disclaimer. I won't be doing a full tempo trekking guide, and before I start, I only recommend you do this if you have fully completed tempo trekking. The reason being is that usually completing the tempo trekking Mauritania task requirement is just about enough to get you the full Lumberjack set. I mean honestly, tempo trekking is a really great minigame for Ironman especially. So with that being said, here are the requirements. The first set of requirements are the basic temple trekking requirements, which require the Darkness of Hallowvale quest complete. Then the other requirement is that you must have a level 20 NPC called Rolaine Twicket. So basically, it's a hard temple trekking NPC, which is located outside of the Patadermis Temple. While it is a hard NPC, but it only took me 20 minutes to get to level 20 from scratch. So here's my gear setup. I'm actually using an alternative account. Now I cannot get duplicate pieces on my main account, so I gotta test this on an account that's never gotten it before. To start off, you don't really need any armor. I'm actually using a tier 40 magic weapon and that works just fine. So you're gonna start outside the Patodermis temple. Now look for the temple trekking companion called Rolaine like I said before. I did state that you must get him to level 20, right? Well basically at level 20, he can tell you what lies ahead, so it's very important to know which path is next. Now you're just gonna quick start the temple trekking run. So you're going to start sneak peeking from hard, medium, then easy until you get the message that shows the bridge event dialogue of what lies ahead. I'll explain later how the message looks like. So if you don't see the bridge event, then just go complete any path you want. I would say preferably the easy path, but I actually did the medium path since I didn't have strong enough gear to kill the Vyres. So now you're going to do the same thing, just check all three paths until you find the bridge event. Now if you don't see a bridge event this time, you're going to quick hop worlds, this is the key. You'll now end up outside the Patodermis Temple, and basically the game engine will reroll all the event paths randomly. So just talk to Rolaine and you'll continue the trek. What ends up happening is, the game engine will save the progress of completing the first event. Now I was told that completing at least one temple trekking event has a higher chance of spawning the bridge event. There isn't actually a JMod source that confirms this, but I guess it's correct anyways. It's very important that you do not click the signposts, because if you do, then the progress with Rolaine will reset. Once again, you're just going to left click to sneak peek on all paths. If there's no bridge event this time, then yeah, just keep hopping and repeat the same process. So here's the dialogue on what it looks like for each path, depending on easy, medium, or hard. So this is the dialogue for the easy path. It'll say, did you see that? There seems to be some sort of broken bridge ahead. For the medium, this will be the following text. You'll need to be handy with repairs to head this way, if we are to cross the river. Finally, for the hard, here's what it looks like. There's a nice looking bridge this way. Well, it would be nice if we could cross it. Once you've found a bridge event, there are two types. There's a 50-50 chance of either spawning 0 or 3 undead lumberjacks. So once you enter, just wait like 15 seconds or so to find out. If there are no undead lumberjacks spawning, then you don't want to complete this event. Just hop worlds and check all paths again to repeat. Now if you do see lumberjacks spawning, they'll spawn one by one. Just kill all of them until you receive a lumberjack outfit piece. So yeah, with that being said, you can only receive one Lumberjack outfit piece per event. So once again, do not complete this event. And yeah, just go hop worlds and check all paths. Alright, so 6 minutes in, I get my very first piece of the Lumberjack outfit, which is the Lumberjack boots. 9 minutes later, and there we have it, there's the Lumberjack hat. Alright, here's Lumberjack legs, and that is the third piece. As you can see, based on the timestamps, I know it did take longer than usual, but my internet crashed. So I recounted the time I was actually in the game. Alright, finally there's the last piece, and that occurred 28 minutes later. After all the luck getting the first 3 pieces, this last piece took very very long. So in conclusion, I was able to find all the pieces in under 1 hour. Now it is all RNG based, so it will probably take around 2 hours to find from what I heard. As for the official drop rate, there's a 1 in 10 chance of getting a lumberjack piece in every bridge event, well provided that zombies actually spawn. Effectively, you'll need 40 bridge events with zombies to get the full set. Otherwise, you'll need 80 bridge events total since yeah, there's a 50-50 chance of either with or without zombies. Unfortunately though, I didn't keep track of how many bridge events I got. There's also a 61 out of 1425 chance, or basically 4.3% of encountering a bridge event on hard paths. So these drop rates are all according to Mod Timbo on the forum posts. Anyways, that wraps up this guide, and best of luck finding Lumberjack outfit. So yeah, thanks for watching and hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.